practical text next week, uh, which I already post here, the updated uh, practical 12 question uh, with uh, a few. Uh, there we will have a discussion there. And today our discussion is actually will be uh, 8.3 Q2. Uh, 8.3 Q2. So uh, I think we will start now. Uh. Let's go for the 8.3 Q2. This is the question. Then we go for <coughs> submission. Okay, I'm still who already, uh, not quite sure. Anyhow, a random sending one, 8.3 Q2. What is the question? Okay. <coughs> so they are still using the, 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 the same thing. Uh. This is a VLSM. Uh. This is a VLSM. So I see whether the lean one doing the correct one. Uh. If one one oh dot zero dot zero dot zero. Okay. So they are still following the VSM workbook page seventy. Like. So we will go for the uh, stop. Okay. Okay. Case 70. <coughs> we copy from there. Case 70. This one, they have to this one. 70. Okay, we have this one already. So let's look at all those numbers. Are they correct? 305000, 3 million something. Huh? 305000, 154, 107597553250. Okay, 525.0. Four five zero, okay, good. Then uh, one five zero, one three zero, ninety five, okay. And the starting is one one zero dot zero dot zero dot zero ah plus a. The okay, address range with the CIDR uh, including the uh broadcast and subnet uh, so they are reducing something. Okay, so uh the the easiest way actually is we open our our. Some Excel or anything you can do it. Uh, some Excel. Uh, I don't want to use some Excel. I think I better use the the um the VSN workbook there. See there. Uh, what we can continue from there uh, because we have the template there. Uh, we have the template there. Okay, we have the template here. Yeah, eight point two. Uh, let's say eight point three. Q two. Uh, eight point three. Question two. Okay, we have an eight point three question too. So I just get a template from here. Just get a template. Any template there, huh? I don't care about the, 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 the thing. I just clean all the calculation there. I clean all the calculation there. So I, I, I will always use this one uh, because I want to have a complete uh, info so that I can answer whatever question uh, that I need it up. Uh. So the network name, um, actually I can, uh, what's the network name? Uh, okay, network name you copy, uh, but host needed is the one that uh, quite important, 305 000. okay. So this is host needed, and I will say I put a M, uh, you have a code there, uh, and uh, and Y, and Y, let's say M1, uh, okay, one, 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 five, four, zero, zero, zero. Then I have a sense Peter SP, so I have a bad name. Okay, you put the full name when you go for exam because this is just a brief thing. So that I just want you to know that yeah, you all can understand, can do it. Huh? Okay, London. L is uh, London, I send five. Make sure you did not uh, do anything um, wrong. Uh. Can I copy? Uh? Let's take a look. If I can copy even easier, uh, value only. Okay, you can copy. So, and after that, uh, if like that, then better copy everything better. Okay, 
very unique. So I have all the questions on hand here. Um, okay. So the subnet address is 11.0.0.0. 11, .0 .0 .0. Uh, 11 no, no, it's 110. 0.0.0. I hope I did not make any mistake. Uh. Yep, okay. So they want the address range and CIDR. So I, I don't think they need a first user bar and last user bar. So we just uh I'll eat. I we don't need it because this is the last step and how we have the broadcast, we have the subnet address. Uh. Then the host given usable host, that one is very important because usable host is the one that pair with this one. This one huh? And uh, host given uh, is the following binary one that defines the minus two uh, and the slash s, the broadcast is all important. So uh, we will have some, some certain number, uh, certain number, let's say two to the power of zero. Okay, Two, I would say uh, two power x. Uh, so two power zero, okay, equals to two to the power of this thing, uh. okay. so this is the value, uh. I will say it's the value, I create a table here, uh. I create a, a very big table here so that uh, I can I can, I can can do so, uh. so the number, everything is zero, oh, this is Google Sheet, okay. yeah, plus one, uh. equals this one, plus one, uh. so I just want to know the x, uh. this is the x, uh. okay. I can power a lot. Maximum is uh, 32, la, but we don't definitely don't need until 32, but if you want also can. So we have all the value where is the host given, uh, this is all the number of the host given. So we, we just pair it, uh, we just pair it. I, I repeat, uh, I repeat in case you forgiven, uh, forget already. So I need 30500, so anything smaller the better la, to, to fulfill it, but cannot smaller than this one. Uh. 3 million something, so this is 4 million already. Right? that 2 million cannot move here, so it's uh, uh, 2 million. Uh. So uh, 4 million, 4 million is 2 to the power of uh, equals 2 to the power of 22. Uh. Okay, so you have 22 already, that means you have 22 zero at the back, that means definitely you have 10 1 at uh, in front, uh. 10 1 in front, that means slash 10, uh. definitely it's a slash 10. Uh. So 22, you have 22 zero at the back. And total is 32 only. Uh. So you have uh, 32 minus 32, you get a slash 10 here. Okay. Usable host is just minus 2, uh, equals this one, uh, minus 2. So I, I, I let it automate the calculation. Uh. Definitely they can fulfill, so I don't I, I don't come up with this one. And after that, 1.5 million. Uh, the next one actually is 2 million, uh, slowly, uh, 21. So actually it's uh, equals to the 2 power of 21. Uh, you can fulfill it. And definitely it's slash 11, huh? slash 11, very simple. Then I have 1 million 1075. Can uh, 104 x fulfill 1075? Cannot. Huh? So they are still 2 million. Huh? They are still, they are, they are the same. They are, actually, they are this value. Huh? So when uh, they are this value, so this value is also the same. Huh? It's also the same. Huh? Then uh, 1 million can fulfill this one. So definitely this is slash 12 already. Huh? And actually, since this is finally, we definitely know that this one is equally equal this one divided by two. Huh? So this is uh, binary and binary, if you know that. So then after that, uh, whether this one divided by two can fulfill the four four two five k? If I use this one divided by two, can or not? Cannot, huh? cannot fulfill. Huh? That's why I need to use this thing. Huh? Use this thing, same thing. So when it's same thing, then this one also same thing, equal to the slash twelve. Then after that, uh, this one can fulfill. Yeah, this one can fulfill. Uh, equal this one be divided by two. So definitely, this one is uh, slash thirteen. Uh, slash thirteen. And after that, whether uh, whether I can continue, I can continue. Uh, equal this one divided by two can fulfill or not? Can fulfill. If further divided by two, divided by four means cannot. Cannot. Uh, so only divided by two only. So that means this one will be slash 14. And uh, further divide by 2 can. can uh? So uh, further divide by 2. Can it. So this is slash 15. And uh, if this one further divide by 2, I don't think I can fill up. I can try it. Uh? I can try it. Cannot. So they should be the same this one. Uh? So also this one is equal to same this one. Uh? Then uh, before we go for the subnet address, we notice this is a magic number that's very big. Huh? 
So I equal to this one divide by uh, definitely not two five six lah. Uh, six five five three six five five three six lah. So that means it's a sixty four in the second octet lah. Sixty four in the second octet. So I, I definitely one one o dot sixty four dot zero dot zero. And this is divided by two one is thirty two lah. So it's one one o dot ninety. 32 is 96. Okay, 96.0.0. This one also 32. So it's 110.128.0.0. One, one, oh, and this one is 16. 16. So it's 110.144. One, one, oh, 16. 0.0. 144. Yep. So this is another 16 here. So it's 160.110.0.0. And now this one is uh, 8. Uh? No longer 16. Uh? 110.168.0.0. And this one further is uh, this is 4. So 110.172.0.0. And this is 2 and 2. Uh? So it's 110.172.174.0.0 and I added my 1110.176.0.0. Let's check out whether it's the same as uh, what uh same, same as uh, link link do uh. Okay, so um I think link know how to do it. Uh. It's a good news, uh. So you are ready for the the advanced uh, exam already. So uh, let's check out how to do the link do uh. Next subnet minus one. Huh? So if you minus one, definitely one one oh dot one seven six dot no one seven five dot two five five dot two five five. So you see the range. Huh? You already the range is actually subnet address and the broadcast address. Huh? Um uh, then uh, this is one seven three a why your address range. Link your address range, your broadcast. Your broadcast is not correct, or Link. Link, are you here? Uh, yes. You know what's the, what's the problem, right? Uh, the last two broadcast range, right? Your broadcast range did not seem to be correct. None of them is correct, right? Oh. Because minus one, when you say minus one, hey, the third of that one is not one, you know? The top of that, every item in third of that equals to 65536. Oh. That's why you need to minus exactly one, you know. When you minus oh. exactly one, will be this one, exactly one will be 110.173.255.255. One, one, oh, one, yeah? So 173. I better copy all of them. Huh? See what oh. is the issue. You, you you get you get the thing that uh, mistake or uh, very yes. serious mistake. Uh. So this one will be uh, uh let's get it, uh. this one is one seven two, so it's one seven one. One seven one and this one is one six eight mark, so it's one six seven. Yeah, one six seven uh. so this is so this one is one five nine uh. Nine, you need to make sure you need to master the base 256 uh, so that you don't have uh, this issue uh, you don't have this issue one five nine yep one four three four three and two seven four three two seven and this one will be 95 and 63 Ninety-five, sixty-three. So, do I make any mistake? Ah? then after that, actually, you can fill in this thing. Ah, the address range is uh, the they say include the subnet address and also the broadcast range. Ah. This is the range. Ah. And CIDR is here, ah. so you you can put in there. Ah. So, anyone have the different answer for me? Ah? Anyone have different answer for me? Ah? From thing there, I want to see anyone have same answer or different answer for me. Yeah? So the 
Apple one of me, uh. not everyone doing the Apple three. Uh. Okay, child one is here. Let's compare. Uh, not compare, compare. How to compare? Yes. So one one zero to sixty three two five five. Three two five five. Okay. One seven five two five five. Yep. Uh, one seven four. Eleven to fifteen. Yep. Child one. You see child. Uh, not child. This is my standard video. Huh? So we've done it already. Uh. So Link, actually you have a serious uh, mistake. Uh, please rectify it. Uh, understand what is the problem uh, before you walk into the exam. Uh. If you have a problem on next week, the final also have uh, okay. Uh Link, uh, link, link on. Okay, uh. okay, okay. I hope you get what is the issue. Uh. So we, we continue actually with the 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 uh the question four. Uh. Question four, we have a network topology there. Uh. So uh what do they have? Okay, so uh, W and M want to design and set up a company network, uh, a junior network engineer Vincent Wilson Dunn proposed to use the same subnet mask. Proposed to use same subnet mask. Okay, no problem. For the network requirement, as so in figure four by one. Uh, that means this is the, the part A la. They want the same subnet mask. That means all the cake is cut into equal size. Uh, remember that. So create a subnet from the IP address. Uh, one. 92.166.4.0 slash 24 to fulfill the requirement of the company. So I how many LAN I need? One LAN, two LAN, three LAN, four LAN, four LAN. It's just uh, straight only now that they are needing four LAN and actually 30 hosts is the highest. Uh, like 50 hosts is the highest. Uh, coincidentally, they can fulfill all. Uh, I will know this definitely is uh, 64, not 62 usable in four subnet. Uh. This is very, very standard. So the uh, answer actually is very standard. Already. Uh, I know that I don't need to correct, I also need to stand, know the standard answer already. So, so what is the question? Uh, IO. And then uh, only four subnet are uh, better you list all four. Uh, better you list all four. Uh, and uh very serious issue, is it? No, no, not, not really serious issue. Uh. Uh, the prefix is all slash 26, uh, anyhow. Slash 26. You don't know how to do the prefix. Are you here? Are you here? It's not here. Okay, it's not here. Okay, okay, I know that it's not here. Uh, everyone is busy. Uh? Okay, um, uh, I actually don't have time to, to know. I, I just want to know uh, the channel is not here. Uh. Maybe due to some reason. Uh. It's absent. Uh. Okay, I will follow the Google attendance. Uh. So, uh, then, I, then I, I, I run through with you. I want to see anyone know do it. Because if you know how to do it, you should be already have the answer. Uh. Let's go for Apple 3. Uh. So the answer Hey, when you know how to do VLSM and you don't know how to do the equal one ah. Then your part A will have a problem ah. Okay, uh, the question is actually one the equal one I know it's four subnet and maximum they need 50 I actually can list down one they, they, they are actually same as this one, just they are equal one. That means uh, normally a lot of things I don't need to calculate one. Huh? A lot of things I don't need to calculate. This is not black color. Huh? I should uh, empty the field and huh? reset. Okay. So uh, they, they are still they are still uh, they are still the same. You you still sort from the big to small, doesn't matter. Huh? You sort from the big to small. So uh, not this one, not this one. Uh, the question there. We go for the uh, question. Huh? So we have the production department, marketing department, human resource department. So I put there. I should close this one. Huh? So it's the production department, marketing department. Okay. 
uh, what what other department there? Uh, Hugh HR department and also the van, huh? and HR department and also the van. Huh? So a uh, van is the number four one. Okay, four one, huh? and actually, all uh, host leader also you can put there, but we just ignore it anyhow. Huh? This is fifty, this is thirty, and this is twelve. Yeah. If you you can you can treat it like a, a, a same year as you notice that this is same year as But the thing is, they want equal. That means they want equal. So every cake, every portion is the same. So definitely, the host given this one can thirty two cannot fulfill, right? right? Give sixty four, and you server definitely sixty two. Since uh actually uh, this one will affect the sub So that means everything will give sixty four. Everything will give sixty four. So when everything will get sixty four, everything will be uh slash 26 uh, because this is equal to uh, not this one uh, this one equally equal to 2 to the power of 6 uh. okay 2 to the power of 6 uh. 32 minus 6 is 26 uh. so and all are slash 26 uh, they want the equal one uh. then what is the sum name mass for slash 26 actually is 255 or 255 255 uh, 255.255.192 if you translate into binary, I hope you all know how to translate. Actually, it's 128 plus 64. They are only because they only borrow two bit only, become four usable hosts. And the starting address, uh, what is the starting starting address already? This one is missing the starting address one, why? Or something address, the starting address. Then the starting address according to the question is uh this one, uh, 166.4.0. 192.168.4.0. We have plus 64. Uh, then everything will be very easy. Uh, you know, this is 0. Yeah, this is 0. And this is 64. And this is 128. And this is 192. Get it already. Or all of this is 62. Uh, the same, same number. Uh. Then after that, the first usable. It is it's, it's very standard already, and this is a uh, this is extremely standard. You can memorize already because this is a frequent one, two five five. Okay, and this is one nine one, and actually this is one two seven, and this is sixty three. This this is the standard answer already. And first usable is uh uh dot one dot uh sixty five. Then after that you have a uh, dot one two nine. Uh, I better copy. Uh, I don't want you to later refer to it. You will have a problem there. I just paste here. Then this one definitely is dot one. This one dot sixty five. This one is one two nine, and this one is one nine three. And when we talk about this thing, is definitely uh, minus one from the broadcast. Is two five four and one nine zero. And uh, one, two, six, and sixty-two. So actually, they can use the same 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 sentence to do so. Uh, just the difference is when I decide the biggest one already, I, I definitely need to stop about the biggest one. Uh. Then you you fulfill the biggest one already. The other don't need to calculate immediately. Come out with the post given. Okay. This different only because I noticed that you all do a lot of VSM already. You know how to do VSM, but you don't know how to do the equal one. Uh. Then you know know. Need to know what uh, in the exam, uh, in the uh, next week exam, uh, part, part A is the equal part, uh, is this one, uh, and part B is the VSM. And part C actually is uh, they give you all the IP, you just key it into the packet tracer, uh, and also with the password setting, those things. Uh. Uh, don't forget about the thing, they are the same thing. Actually, VSM is the equal one with some increase, uh, with some something extra add in, become the VSM calculation. Uh. Don't, don't get lost with Vina. Say after that, you look at the answer. Then you list out all four of Vina. Normally, they don't list out one one. I look at your answer all are wrong. So, you are a senior network engineer in the end. So, you explain one advantage of using classless submitting and one advantage of using classful submitting. The, 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 the uh, classful submitting is this one. It's the one that we do an equal one, class two, following class one. Uh, no, this is not really a class two one. Uh. You want to decide this is class two. Uh. Okay, let's assume this is class. No. If you are using class two, that means using class A, class B, class C, uh, 
the other cannot use up. Okay, the advantage is uh, easy, la, less calculation, less calculation. And also uh, the other advantage is uh, actually when your company is getting to grow, that thing become bigger and bigger. Actually, the plus one, they provide a lot of room for you to improve up. At more hosts, uh, because at original they have so many hosts. Uh, you know, it's a C254 usable. Remember that, huh? That, that's why uh, if even your company uh very, very big, be two times bigger than before. Let's assume this is 50, right? Even if you are two times bigger than before, your production becomes 100 hosts, then your marketing becomes 60 hosts, and your human resource becomes 24 hosts. Uh even you then I, I will say that uh definitely you still can accommodate them uh, if the class two one, huh? But classless one is actually uh, advantage of classless is the one that look like we are doing BISM or we are doing further subnetting. The advantage is actually we have a more efficient use of IP address, uh, especially when we have a lot of subnet required, but we don't we don't need a lot of hosts, we just need a lot of subnet mask. Uh but we don't we only need a lot of subnet, that means a lot of network, a lot of land, but we don't need a lot of hosts and we can make use of it. Uh, to make sure even with 254 usable only, I can create a full subnet. If some of them require very big host uh, needed, and uh, some of them have a very low host needed, can be done. Uh, efficient use of IP address. Uh. So this is theory. Uh. Let's see anyone get it. Uh. Class, classless is easier to use. Who tell you classless is easier to use? I think class full is easier to use, uh, Kenji. Easier to use and look with convert it to binary. The advantage of class two subnetting is will be more clear on how to split up those address. Uh, not much comment on that, huh? So I just want to see the anyone do it. Ten point three. Not much of you do it, huh? Okay, class two. Easier to configure. Yeah, class two, huh? easier to configure. Easier to admin and understand. Minimal CPU processing. Uh, Where do you get it, Akko? Go inside. From the internet. Uh, most probably yes, sir, but but I don't expect you have this thing. Uh, the, the router processing. Uh, okay, okay. Um, right. very hard. You need further explanation to talk about it. Uh. So, uh, classless configuration is much less error prone. Who say so? I think harder. Uh, if your calculation is calculation is wrong, it's it's easy to have error. Uh. So much more scalable. Good for large network. Uh, um, this one you need further. Huh? This, 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 the sentence, second sentence of your classes or can be a debate question. Huh? Depends on how you debate it. Huh? So if you just follow this sentence, I, I, will, I normally will treat this wrong. Huh? But if you, you can talk your way out, okay. Huh? Because scalable, what type of scalable? Sometimes, like I would say, class two is actually more scalable because they have more holes reserved for your company to get growth. Uh, I would say so. Then you say class one is more scalable because uh, due to efficient use of IP address, I can create more subnet. It's, it's a debate question. Huh? So uh, when you put something that arguable, uh, that's mean I, I would say the second point of classes is wrong. Huh? It, actually, they can be correct. depends on uh, what is the perspective we are talking about and how you argue over it. Huh? Uh, you don't put any argument there normally across there. Huh? Let's work for the admin to add and maintain routes. routes. It's based on one, huh? Hey, classes is the one that you really need to calculate. In class two, I don't think you need to calculate. Huh? So the routing protocol automatically read and adjust to the topology change. Ah, 
I think this one is wrong, huh? Your clusters one is wrong, huh? Clear? Okay. Don't worry about for me, lah. Okay, um, um but I, I provide the answer already. I don't want to see anyone doing it with an uh, acceptable answer. Huh? No one? Uh, okay, not two, huh? Address space location is more efficient than classless. Yes. A class two is a uh, split up simplicity and clearly that what can be easy to understand. Okay, I think this one is acceptable, uh, not perfect, but acceptable. So I will continue with uh, you are assigned to restructure using VRSM. Uh, so the same thing you are doing uh, using VRSM, the same thing you are doing VRSM. So uh, we look at it. Okay, this is the answer. So the VRSM is, uh, I just copy the thing. I just copy the thing again. And uh, when we say VRSM, so I just paste here. Just paste here, all right, doesn't matter. So uh, definitely this one will change. And as this one will become 32, this one will be 16. One will be four. This was actually equal in this one minus two. Uh. So uh, I just get, get this one. Okay. So the CIDR 26 uh, and this is 27. And this is 28. Uh this this is standard 30 in the theory. And it's this one. And uh all of them is different already. Uh. All of them is different. So uh, the calculation same. So this one is 64. I just, and this will be the same thing. Okay. So this is uh, 64. And this is 96. And this is 112. And actually 116 here. 116 is here. So this is uh, 115. I put there first. Okay, 115. And this is 111. And this is uh, 95. 62 is also the same, yeah. And when you calculate already, you will note uh, it's very different. Uh. It's very different on all the IP addressing scheme. Uh. So I prefix there already. Sunday address also there already. Broadcast address, I also have already. I don't need these two to answer the question. Uh. So I answer the question already. Uh, let's look at uh, the answer. Yeah. I think um the link know how to do it. Uh. Link very good at VLSM. Uh. Only the equal one you looks like. Uh, no, 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 not really. Your calculation there, this calculation is wrong. Uh. Your broadcast wise suddenly become like that. 64 minus 1 becomes 63. <laughs> okay. Okay, then we continue, we continue, we continue with the with the thing. Uh. Explain two migration techniques used by network admin to migrate internet protocol to uh, IPv6. Tunneling, do what's that? Very simple. You you can refer from the from the slide, uh. do what's that and or oh, NAT64, yeah. Network address translation 64. Three things, uh. tunneling, do what's that, and uh, NAT64. Three things. Uh. So do what's that is, means that uh, concurrently have a uh, IPv4 and IPv6 at the same device. Then tunneling is to encapsulate again. Uh, even if IPv6, you can encapsulate using IPv4. Uh, you can break it separately. Uh. Three lines uh, IPv4 packet, uh, only reach the destination, just uh, turn back to the IPv6 packet. Uh. Then uh, this is tunneling. Uh. Then the NAT64 is actually going for translation uh, pairing of uh, each IPv4 address and also the IPv6 address. Uh. More, more like address translation. Uh. Treating all is in the slide, uh, so I don't go very deep inside there. You can find a data. Uh, use your own word, uh, please remember. Then after that, three type of unicast, uh, global unicast, unique local, and link local. Uh, 
I better go and take a look on the slide there. I'm not quite sure about this. Huh? So let's go for the, um, this one is uh, chapter 8 slide. Huh? Okay, I, I think I downloaded the chapter 8 already. Huh? I did download the chapter 8 slide. Okay, IPv6. IPv6. Apply next. What's the question there already? Yeah. IPv6 unicast address. I don't think it's chapter eight or maybe chapter seven. Huh? Take a look on chapter seven first. So you see that um, um, unicast. Let's go for the unicast. Are they global, link local, and also a uh, unique? Okay, you are correct. You are correct. So uh, they just want you to list up uh, without any explanation. Uh, to check look list. Okay lah. Uh. So we end the tutorial at here. Some of them very deceiving uh, because uh, unicast, the, the address is split into three. Uh, any cast, they just split into three. Where is the power here? Uh, they said split into three. Uh, let's go for top. They have a. Uh, um, uh, go down. Unicast, multicast, and any cast. Uh. Then actually they are asking about the uh, wait, wow, uh. uh actually you are asking about the uh, unicast. They are asking about the uh, unicast. Hey, where is the question already? Why suddenly a question missing already? Where is my? I close this one. So they are asking about unicast. Actually, they have three unicast, multicast, and anycast. Then after that, they unicast they further break down these three uh, unicast address, link local address, and also uh, the private address there. So it's not easy to find out the answer. So you you is uh, trick there. Uh. So uh, actually I want to go back to the tutorial question to see 
Any special thing there? Yeah, there are you. You need cast, huh? Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, I close it. So I want to see what is the question. Huh? When the number of holes the same, how do you order it in the table? When the number of holes the same, what what you mean by number of holes the same? Shall we? Classes are efficient use of IP address. Then uh, they allow uh, you allow some design that use class two one cannot be done. Let's say uh, you only you have budget issue. Uh, you don't have enough money to buy a lot of public address or then uh you you can you only be a sign of one slash 24 address uh, slash 24 that's mean 254 user for host, uh. then you have a design just like a 128 uh you have some design like uh, this I, I think i i better reopen the reopen the my uh google classroom data uh. the vlsm one the the, the VLSM. Book. Okay. I reopen the VSM book. Okay. Then uh let's go back to, to here. Let's assume you have one scenario, uh, you have one scenario that uh one of the very important thing uh, I copy this one, copy this one, I place this one. So if your host needed uh it's not 50, 30, 12, 4, uh, because this one uh, actually you want to put equal one also can you notice that you want to put VLSM also can. But if you have a scenario that you need one, two, five here, then actually, and also you need a 62 here, then you need a, 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 a 40 here and you need a two here. So if you following this one, I follow this one, the, uh, everything I delete here. I delete it. Then you will notice that, you will notice that uh, actually, Let's assume it's class C, uh, you start with class C, then you want to start there inside there. Definitely the host given must be 128, I mean, how to fulfill this one. Uh. So it's actually, uh, you are borrowing uh, slash 25. Uh. Then this one can be slash, then if I put everything also slash 25, the equal one, uh, everything also slash 25. Actually, it cannot be done uh, because uh, you only have. Total, you have only have two, five, four, three, seven, four, only, yeah? and if you everything also put one, two, eight, one, two, eight, one, two, eight, one, two, eight, you need about uh five hundred something hosts. Huh? But this one, if you go to VLSM, it can be done. Why? Because this one can be sixty four, and after that, this one also sixty four. It's not an issue. Huh? It cannot be done. So even if this is sixty four, this one need to be thirty. Yeah? So you can do it at 32. Then after that, this one can be done with four. Actually, then you sum up this thing, huh? you sum up this thing. The, the thing that you use uh, is 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 not uh, what is this? So it's not more than uh two um two um five six lah. It's not more than two five six lah. After minus two, also not more than two five four. Lah. So you can be done, huh? So this is one of the uh, uh, advantages for classless, huh? And actually, uh, also need to back to theory, uh, Also need to back into back to theory, uh. What is classless? For me, uh, slash twenty five also classless, huh? So if you are not classless, let's say you only have a slash eight, slash sixteen, and slash twenty four, uh. do you notice that? So if we don't allow for classless, lah. Uh, then actually the waste is very very high. Huh? Chow? Okay, uh, Chow. So what is the number of hosts the same if how you order it in the table? And if you if I, I tell you uh, if the scenario is uh if the scenario is totally the same and uh, let's assume one two five one two five. Uh, I don't think you need to order it, uh. And definitely uh they will tell you what is the first thing in exam. But uh, if you are asking in real life or in exam, in exam we won't come, we won't come to this question. And uh, even if we have this the same one, uh, we will tell you uh sometimes directly, sometimes indirectly, just like the van, they always they always have a van, right? 
then the host needle always is the same mark. Do you notice that? Then normally we will put brand number one, brand number two mark. We will put them anyhow in directly, yeah? or else or, or the question will actually sort for you, uh, they will sort for you. So this is the exam, uh, okay? Exam question, uh, uh, Kelvin. So uh, in real life, since they are the same, you don't need to order it anyhow, right? Unless the boss has some extra, the boss are taking the money to do so. Uh, they have extra picture, they say, I, I'm from HR department, so I want a beautiful IP address. That beautiful IP address must be in this number. I mean, we are, then, 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 then you can adjust for him. Uh. He want to come first, come first, he want to come later, come later. Uh. It doesn't matter, but it won't affect the, 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 the real thing. Uh. So the, this is number of hosts. Uh. Okay, uh, Kevin. Okay, um, so when uh, the thing is okay, then uh, I, I will end the uh, tutorial 8. Then do you all submit the tutorial 6 or not? I check first. Uh. I check first. Uh, I see. So the tutorial 6 submission. What is the deadline? You already are. Uh, still, most of you did not submit. Uh. Uh, doesn't matter, we will discuss next tutorial, but I put uh, two things there, uh, remember, uh, one is switch is very different, uh. switch cannot be done via packet tracer, uh. I don't know about version 8 of the packet tracer, but they cannot be done, they must physical class only can do, uh. and the step I put here, you all can explore yourself, uh. it's an extra one, uh. it's an extra one, uh. Then uh, next time, maybe when you have face-to-face -face class on the practical, then you face this problem, you can uh, dig this out to, to help you to solve the thing. Uh. Uh, at your own, 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 own pace, uh, this one, uh, because this is a uh, need to have a real equipment only can do, uh, which uh, I, I, I cannot test this to you. Uh. Okay, then also I upload the practical question already. Actually, uh, a few things is there. Uh, all of that is format and basic. Uh, you can try it out. Uh, we will talk about it uh, during practical time. Uh, we will talk about it during practical time. Um, nothing much. Uh, anyhow, this too far is original one, uh, which I, I think I already covered it. Uh. A basic switch uh, and end device control. How to set password, those things you can go for revision. Uh. I will show you very fast. Uh. Then uh, the, the, the connection to a router, how to connect to a LAN, those things. We will, we will take a look. And the practical test is part A. This is part C. Uh. Paxi, this is a uh, instruction. Uh, this is an instruction. I will drive you through also. Uh, I think Miss Chow will drive you through this one. Maybe I will repeat again. Uh. Then uh, the part A and part B, you see part A definitely is a, is a question of equal subnetting, uh, which uh, some of you do it very bad, uh, or those BRSM know how to do. Uh. Why? Uh? Because BRSM is this one with some extra criteria become the BRSM. I can use the same template to do it. Uh. So please remember A and B. Uh. Then after that, C is actually a packet tracer. They give you all the IP here. Huh? Then you configure all the password. Then you configure, you, you ping and print screen. Remember the print screen, they got a lot of print screen there. Then after that, put all the IP address inside the device. Huh? And uh, if you cannot, cannot, if you click in, they don't let you access the CLI. Remember to use the PC, to use console cable to go in. Huh? I don't think they will put a telnet one huh? because uh, telnet and SSH is not even huh? But definitely console cable is part of the syllabus. Uh. If they say not already, you cannot go to CLI, then you need to use a console cable to connect from PC to the route, uh, the console cable and go to the the um the thing. Uh, what is the thing uh, I can show again? Uh, the tracer. Which I show again, uh, I show again. I can see that uh, I have a PC here. I have a router here. Let's assume this one locked. This is not locked, uh, but uh, actually we can lock it. Uh. I can uh, I can lock it administrative. Then I can lock the where is the CLI? Which one? Can I disable it? I actually can can disable the the CLI one, uh, high on device CLI tab. Uh. 
So after that, you don't have a CLI to come in one. Uh. Then after that, I actually will log in uh, and ensure that you cannot change here. Uh. Then after that, you the, the, the easiest way is actually you get a console cable. Uh. You get a console cable, uh, serial port, go to console, go here, desktop, terminal, come. Uh, you come in already? Okay. So uh, I hope you all still remember. Uh. I hope you all still remember. I will drive you through again uh, but i think it will be in a very fast way because this one is normally in the first practical how to set the password how to key in all the ip address uh, ipv6 and ipv4 here then um do i have a do i show you the show ip uh no ip domain lookup uh? do i show you that no ip domain lookup login synchronous i think i do show right Anyone have idea, right? Uh, Do I show you this one? I go into it, then I configure terminal, line console zero, login synchronous. I think yes, lah. I think yes, lah. Because that day I show you how to reset a router. Then I have a login synchronous. So that when I disconnect the cable, they don't they, they don't interrupt you, don't let your command halfway. Then after that, I have a I have a exit there, I have a computer there, then they have a no IP domain domain no IP domain look up. So that when I when I when I type, type something, they, they, they won't go to that. Because if I have an IP domain look up, IP domain look up. The IP domain of R is no, uh. so I assume that if I type if I type something there, they, they will go to translation. I need to control six six. So what? Okay, already. Oh my god. Then how to set the those password? Configure terminal, enable password. What any number you want to put? Enable secret. Any number you want to put? Then after that, uh, this one don't need log in, uh, and then service password and encryption, encryption, and line console zero, and password. Uh, what is the password you want to put? Remember to put log in. And you have a line VTY zero to anything like zero to anything, you know, zero to fifteen. I don't know zero to fifteen is common, but some of the device only until zero to four only. I put uh, as a extra. Okay, because they have line one, line two, line three, uh, line zero, line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, line six until number can any number, uh, but I think zero to fifteen is enough. Uh, a lot of device only until four. Only. Then after that, I need to log in also. Uh, until the password, you need to set the password first. Uh, password uh, do anything, then uh, log in again, no problem. Then uh, so I can exit, I can end. Then after that, I need to save. Done already. I already forget the password. <laughs> then after that, if I reset already, maybe I need to go to the reset password there already. Uh, so then actually you can show star config. Star config. What is the setting you set there? And uh, I already have a 15 there. Okay, zero to fifteen. Do they have more than that? Uh? Let's go for the configure terminal. I ty uh, zero twenty two. No one. Uh, they don't have twenty two. What is the number there? Uh, maximum is fifteen uh. So this device have fifteen uh. So uh okay okay. So uh any other thing uh? Hmm, I need to set. Uh, I reset it uh. Then, uh, oh, how to show IP address? Uh, interface G00. Do we have G00? Uh, my interface don't have one. Uh, then show IP interface brief. They tell you cannot one because normally it's outside one. If you want to do inside, you can do in front. Then you know, oh, I have a two, three, I have three gigabit and one VLAN. This is a switch of router. This is router. Okay. Then I can change the router name or uh, host name R1. See that my router name is host name. Uh? Actually, host host name. Uh? Okay, I want to also check if I change it. So, uh, 
then uh, what can I do again on uh, interface so the IP address up? Z000 is 3 dp one you know, you know, you know that already. Z00 and IP address. If you want to find IPv6, you put IPv6 address, address, and uh, 201, 201, uh, incomplete, uh, you need a uh, subnet mask, okay? Then, uh, but the subnet mask and IPv6 is different. Uh. Then remember to put no shard, uh, remember to put no shard, no shard, no shard is actually no shutdown, okay? Anything else? Uh? Nothing else already, uh. that's all. Uh. I think I end the class now. Uh, Friday I will do the revision, uh, the revision of uh, to prepare you for the uh, practical test. Uh. Almost seven and it's just now. Uh. I still want to stay. Uh. Okay, uh. see you Friday. No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. Later, uh, if I have ESP, ESBA, I need to do this. You mean the packet tracer one and the part A, part B, yes, sir? Calculation of ESM, calculation of equal, passy, yes, yes, yes. Yes, sir? Chow? Mitamba, give me some, some, something, what you think, okay? So I go to another class, sir. See you later. Friday. Okay, thank you, sir.